Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Cooper with PHC News and the Wholesaler Magazines. I am here at the 2015 Unleash WD Summit and we just finished the opening keynote speaker with one of our own, Dr. Donald McNeely of Chicago Tube and Iron. Dr. McNeely, can you give us some high points of the speech for those who could not attend? What were the takeaways? Um, interesting audience in that it is all wholesale distribution, but it's not primarily pipe album fittings or steel distribution, it's different industries. And I was attracted to this audience uh, for the same reasons you and I spoke about before. I want to be with people that make a payroll, people that create jobs, people that make a difference. And if I can put that under one umbrella, people that bring relevancy to our society. As you and I have spoken before, not everybody does that. But people that are in wholesale distribution creating the type of high paying jobs that we do in that industrial sector, I love it. I always gravitate to those audiences. Mm -hmm. And the theme of your speech, I would say, was point, points of inflection. Can you speak on that and um, maybe some things that our viewers should know? So innovation is the, the new buzzword, and you know they always talk about change or die, change fast or die, and even though those are cliches, I do think they have some validity to them. And um, I think our industry has probably been slower to adopt than most in the area of innovation. And when you think of innovation, you think of technology, and technology plays a big role in innovation. But innovation spans well beyond just technology. And because many of the companies in our industry have been successful, that invokes that attitude of why change? Well, there's a train heading our way. There's a tsunami heading our way, and we need to get ahead of it. Uh, so this conference centered around innovation. And in our world, uh, you've seen and read my writings before on points of inflection. And throughout the evolution of any company, there's going to be certain critical points of inflection where I think you re need to rethink your business model because at those points of inflection, that's where that company's survival is most vulnerable. Uh, in our industry, uh, you had asked earlier, how ready is our industry to receive innovation? And uh, I love that question. And, and, and the answer would be, on one hand, I think kind of sort of that baby boom generation needs to continue to attrition out because I think that next generation is more comfortable with innovation, they're more comfortable with technology. However, there's been such a significant attrition in our industry, companies going under. Those that remain, those that are still in business, are the baby boomers that really were more broader based in their thinking. Mm -hmm. So they're probably those of our generation that were more receptive to innovation to begin with. So I think if you look at who remains in the baby boomer leadership in our industry, combined with the millennials up and coming, I think kind of the stars are aligning where our industry is finally going to get serious about innovation. And just to give viewers an idea of the kinds of things that are being talked about here, last year I attended and we talked everything from drones to 3D printing. Along those lines, what should the PVF and the PHC industries, technologies or design, what should we be looking for? Where should we be kind of um, directing our ideas on innovation? So I think what we really need to do is, uh, is step back and recognize that our role historically may have been to run our enterprises. And who we're going to hire in our enterprise is what the school system is producing, what society is producing, and we'll worry about all those issues once they get to our doorstep. That's no longer going to be the case. First of all, with CDLs, commercial driver's license, we're having a difficult time finding driving, uh, drivers, if you will. So that has implications for transportation. Transportation today runs 4 to 7 percent of, uh, of your revenue, so it's a significant operating expense. So we need to be aware of what's happening in the area of innovation in transportation. The talent dearth. All of us complain about not being able to find the right talent. There's no technical skills. So we can say, well, that's the responsibility in the domain of the school system, but if we don't get involved at that level to influence what they're producing, when they get to our doorstep, before we can teach them, we have to unteach them. And that's a much more significant expense in time and money than maybe getting involved earlier in the process. For example, I think in the universe uh, right now, we're producing too many non-marketable degrees. Too many non-marketable degrees. So this millennial generation is getting out of school with an average of $27,000 in debt. In aggregation, the student loan exposure often is over $1 trillion. But now we have too many coming out with a non-marketable degree. What our industry needs to do is get involved with internships, get involved with speaking in the school systems, funding, donating time, energy, money, all those things 
centered around STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. The, those are the skills we need and there's such a shortage. Uh, you and I are, are Northwestern affiliated. You've been down in my classroom. You see a preponderance of foreign students. Now we welcome them. They're brilliant, they're great students. And the reason it skews that way is the admission standards are so high. We have a shortage of those technical skills in the United States right now, yet when those foreign students graduate, they got six months to get out of Dodge. They have to return to their home country to do what? Compete against us. So I think we really need to engage, specifically at the junior high level on through high school, with doing whatever we can to promote STEM education. Well, thank you for speaking with me, Dr. McNeely. It was great hearing you this morning, and I hope to see more of you all next year. Um, if you want to see more from us, you can visit us at phcnews.com or thewholesaler.com. Thank you.